be selfish and know that you are worthy. Know that you deserve. I won't say every single thing out there because there's limits to this, you know, we're in this physical plane, but you are worthy for almost everything out there that you really want, that you desire. And it's important that we understand that we are worthy. It's important that we affirm to ourselves that we are worthy every single day, look in the mirror and say, I am worthy for all the blessings and abundance I have coming my way. I am worthy for whatever it is that you blah, blah, blah. You know, for me, it's I am worthy for an abundant business that is going to be helping thousands of people heal each year. I am worthy of feeling good every day. I'm worthy of being able to come out here and enjoy myself out in nature. We got to affirm ourselves these types of things, but know that affirmations aren't enough. It's not enough to just say it because once we say it, we got to go out and act as if we got to go out and take the actions of someone who is worthy. We got to take the actions and do the things of someone who is worthy. And a lot of the times, you know, we think like, oh, why wouldn't I be worthy? Why wouldn't I be worthy? Well, why don't you have what it is that you want yet? There are so many reasons, so many ways that we block our blessings. And this hurts me. This affects me a lot right now because as I'm in business and I've had a lot of, not a lot, but I had a couple people come and they've been in a position that's like their dream job. And this is going to be something that can help them manifest the greatness for them. But what happens when you don't believe that you're worthy, you end up self-sabotaging. And I don't like to see the self-sabotage. I don't want to see none of that no more from none of us. From myself, I'm done with the self-sabotage. From all of y'all, done with the self-sabotage. And this whole idea of selfish being a bad thing, we need to get rid of that mindset. Being selfish is a net positive for everybody involved which means that overall it's a positive. So yeah, there are gonna be some things that are negative, some people that are negatively affected, but when you add up all the positives and all the negatives, it's gonna end up being positive. And the thing is though, if we're selfish in this now moment only, that's not the net positive because what ends up happening is we may be selfish to our desires. We may be selfish slaves to our desires, and only do what we feel, what feels good right now. And that's not good because we may mess everything up for something that feels good right now. And I know a lot of, we, a lot of us can relate. A lot of us know sometimes we do something that feels good. Sometimes we eat something that tastes good. But we're not thinking in what I like to call being selfish on all timelines. And that means you're selfish in the now moment. So you want to do something that's selfish for yourself right now in this now moment. But you also want to think about the future self. And you want to think about the past self. And you also want to think of yourself in all the different timelines, all the different versions of reality that you may end up living in. <laughs> it can get deep. We won't go too deep into it. But just know that being selfish is a good thing. And we got to be selfish. In 2022, we got to be selfish. There's no more self-sabotaging. There's no more not believing that we're worthy. It's no more trying to people please and do for others and put what we want to the side. It's time for us to know what it is that we want and go out there and get it. Be so focused on what it is that you want. Be so focused on what it is that's going to get you to that state, that energy where you feel good, where you can uh, manifest and you can bring forward all that you want. Because ultimately, when you fill that cup up, you're going to be able to share with others. And you can't share from an empty cup. And if we don't believe we're worthy, what ends up happening is it's like a cup is being full of all the blessings in this cup. But we're not seeing any blessings run over. Why is that? It's because we got a hole in the cup. So all the blessings are leaking out and it's like it's never enough. So that's why it's so important that we realize we're worthy and we get out of our own way and let all the blessings come for us this year, y'all. All of it. I'm so excited. 
I'm so grateful to be alive another day, to be out here in nature, to be able to connect with y'all, and to be able to live a life of purpose. There's nothing like it. And I'm walking on this path right now, and I'm just realizing how beautiful and abundant it is. And this is something that's available to us all. And we just got to be selfish. You know, there's nothing wrong with being a little selfish. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, my guys? <laughs> Every one of these videos where dogs come. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? You blessed? <laughs> so we can only live a life of purpose if we are thinking of what is the purpose that we want to live. If we don't think about ourselves, we can't live it. So it's important that we be selfish and live the life of our dreams and let everyone benefit. Not just ourselves, let everyone benefit from you putting yourself first. All right, y'all. Sending y'all love, sending y'all balance. Catch y'all in the next one. Ja! Rastafero. <laughs> Blessing. No, that was perfect.